the most friendly doggy. Who's the most friendly doggy? <laughs> Hello, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm filming, I'm filming. Hey, what's up guys? Thomas Alex Norman here, and in this video we're gonna be talking about B-roll on the beach mat. Oh, dude. This beach is Azurrialwa in San Sebastian, and we're gonna be talking about how to actually capture that landscape. We're not gonna be using people, we're not gonna be filming a subject in this one. We're just gonna be getting there and making the best sequence we can just out of what is in front of us. Got my camera in my bag, let's go. Okay, so right now I'm heading to the first kind of location. And this is important to not just run onto the beach and just start filming everything. Have a look, which I did from up there at my strategic vantage point. And uh, I've chosen this location right down here uh, against the rocks, because I think with the rocks, the sand and the sea and the sky, we can get some really interesting textures, combinations that are gonna kind of set up the beach and provide some really nice sensory experiential shots. All right, first I'm gonna get a shot of these rocks from up here. So what we've got is this kind of, uh, it's like one big leading line basically, where you've got these beautiful rocks curving around to form this kind of barrier. What we're gonna be doing is getting a push in shot, rocking forward, moving in slowly like that. Gonna do that one more time. Really make sure you get the horizon straight when you do it. You got a couple of dogs running there, it might be quite nice to have that movement in the shot. What I, what I could do, or what maybe a lot of people might do, is kind of try and get out the graffiti and try and just get the beach cool vibe. But actually, we can react to what's in our environment as well. And maybe this is gonna make us decide, ah, actually, we're not gonna try and just make this cool, like, classic tropical beach location video. Oh, dude. Maybe what we're gonna try and do is actually get something a little bit more urban, maybe, a bit more gritty. From here, gonna get a bit dangerous. Try and get another couple of shots. And remember what I said in the previous videos, if you have a, uh, if you have an establishing shot, it's really good to punch in and get a shot that leads on from that and kind of goes closer. So what we can do is come out from this graffiti here, rock in on my legs left to right. And punching in from that. We did just get these runners in the foreground, in the background there. Uh, it's a small detail, but if they suddenly appear in the shot when they weren't in there before with the establishing one, it's going to look a little bit weird. So I'm just going to get that one again. And there you got the same dogs. Perfect. Awesome. What we can also do if we are paying attention to these rocks is try and get a bit of the kind of texture. Like this, they almost look like mountains. I mean, that's a really, really cool shot, actually. I really like that a lot. I'm using my body to rock forward rather than using my arms or my legs and stuff that could be shaky. Cool, that looks really good. We're also gonna make the most of the fact that we're up here with getting a shot in this way and like just establishing the whole beach. It's good to get some establishing shots in there when you can. Using the rock still in the foreground to show that we're in the same location and push through. What this could be really cool to do as well is basically establish that like we're going to the beach now because the next location that I've chosen is gonna be down there where some of the surfers are and the waves are breaking. And it, as by having the rocks in the foreground here and then moving the camera towards that, it's gonna really easily link us into that next location where the next few shots are gonna be. So I've just come down from up there and there's a really nice shot here that I've just seen. So we're gonna stay here for a little bit. A quick mindset that's really useful when making videos is try and get shots that look like photos. And I was just imagining if I saw that, that would make a really nice photo. If I just took like a snapshot, like boom, like there, it'd be a super nice location. Cause you kind of got this like, almost, it kind of almost from here looks like this kind of castle-like wall. And then you've got these rocks, the sand, the sun, and bam, massive bit of graffiti. So it's like, it's a really weird kind of cool contrast. Mm -hmm. 
knowing that this beach is, is kind of more like a surf beach than anything else. It's just really popular with surfers. Kind of builds up the picture, you know, the graffiti here kind of gives it this more like urban city beach feel, which perfectly with the surfing. So it all kind of builds up a picture into what you're trying to create. So another really cool shot is getting the texture of this moss on the rock here with the other rocks in the background. So again, we can push forward. That's a really nice shot there. I'm going to punch in here and get a shot of the water coming in around these rocks. And then what I'm going to do is try and get as close up as I can because there's some really interesting patterns going on here. That was lucky. So we're just down the, uh, the surf spot in the beach mat. Oh, dude. And what we're going to be doing here is first getting some shots of these buildings because it looks beautiful. So just going to make sure everything's in focus. And uh, we're going to be coming up kind of like a, a push-up shot here, like a push-up bra, except instead of push-up shot. And that looks nice. I mean, we're giving ourselves options as always. Try a lower one. I think it's really nice to get some kind of foreground stuff in there as well of the, of the sand. And kind of move through like a drone. Boom, quick shots here. And I think that's good. We kind of get the urban environment of the beach in there as well. Right now we're gonna be focusing on uh, some of these waves a bit more. With waves, especially if they're kind of small like today and not very close to where you are, it's quite difficult to actually make them look anything impressive. So we're actually not gonna do that. We're not gonna try and make them look any bigger than they are. And instead, what we're gonna do is uh, quite simply try and get them from an angle instead of straight on. Zoom in as much as we can, it always helps a little bit. And then just kind of come around. And you can see some of these waves breaking here in the background, it looks super nice. Really nice reflections of the buildings. Really, really nice shot. Super happy with that. Try and get another one before the sea comes in. There you go, it comes in to cover it. And I'm running, and I'm running, and I'm running. Great stuff. We're gonna get a couple shots, see if we can get any surfers in here. Oh, dude. Really to get like good surf footage from the shore, you need like a 200 mil or something like that. Um, but I've got up to 70 here when I'm fully zoomed in, but it's still nice. It doesn't mean like you just can't get it, you know? We can film a little bit, see what we can get. Um, we could potentially get away with cropping in a little bit. And uh, I think if we have it in slow-mo, it's gonna give the audience enough time to kind of be able to spot the surfer. Also, what you can do, remember in the last video, or the, a few videos ago, I said about the birds? And if the birds are really far away, what you can do to emphasize them is to move with the birds and keep them in the center of the frame. So what we can try and do is do the same thing with surfers. So to keep the, the surfer that you want right in the middle of the shot and follow them, it should be able to pick up in the audience's mind a lot more and really focus them on that surfer. So now we play the waiting game. There you go, we got a surfer in there. We got a surfer, we got a surfer, we got a surfer. There's a quick wave. Perfect. That was actually a pretty decent shot. Thanks, Matt. Okay, so we came up again, but on the other side this time, there's a really nice shot from, from up here where the water looks this kind of beautiful turquoise. And we can do what I like to do with the water here, as you guys may know, is do a slight kind of spin. I'm gonna keep myself locked in here. and just spin around as the water's like lapping on these rocks. It looks sick. Este puede ser un thumbnail guay, no? También. Just as I was about to get the finishing shot, I found a couple of wild cats here. And uh, they're not literally the species of wild cat, 
but I do believe they are actually wild cats who live around these rocks. Because in Barcelona, they're the same, and people come to feed them. We've got this awesome shot here, San Sebastian, Zurriola Beach with the blue sky. And what we're going to do to finish the video is kind of come back like this. So we've got this cliff here, and we're going to just come back, reverse. And it could be really nice to just come backwards from the beach. As smooth as we can. And I think with a bit of stabilization in post, it's going to be a really nice shot to end it. Right, guys if you want to see the whole list of gear that i use and also recommend the gear list is in the description below i've actually updated that just very recently um, with new cameras that i recommend and also a page on amazon where you can literally just see and buy all of the exact gear that i recommend in that gear list so it's really useful this video was filmed by raul uh, his websites are in the description below he's a wedding filmmaker and also a corporate filmmaker and there is two websites down there if you want to hire him he can travel wherever you want so go ahead, click that button if you need a video made that's really high quality, just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep filming. Bye-bye.